Alright guys, what's, how's it going? Now, in the beginning of this video, I just want to show you exactly what I'm doing. Uh, you see, there's stuff all over my desk. Um, this is a little project I'm going to start working on today. And I'll hopefully, hopefully finish by today. Uh, if not, of course, you guys can see video updates. But I don't know how this video is going to be filmed, but I want to show you. Um, this is a first-generation iPod Touch, 32 gigabytes. Um, it's actually pretty abused, you guys can see that. There's These are all scratches. I tried cleaning it off with a microfiber and stuff, but these are actually all scratches on the iPod. It's from, uh, worst case, from this case. I think it's the DLO Jam Jacket, uh, but I think the dust inside of this jacket like just caused it to be scratched and stuff. So you guys can see how awful that looks. But this is not my iPod. It's actually my friend's dad's iPod. Um, and he actually, guys, you can tell right here from this angle, see the light right here? It's cracked. The screen is actually cracked. Um, instead of buying a new iPod, he asked me to try and fix it first. So we ordered the parts from iFixit. And uh, the parts came. I have the screen. Ooh. I have the screen of the iPod Touch here. Um, I also have the iPod tools. And then I have the, uh, I think it's called the Spudger. And uh, my goal is to take apart the whole iPod and replace the screen. So. Let's see if we're successful or not. This is my first time doing anything like this, so I'm kind of nervous. So, so what I have also, I have an ice cube tray for all the screws and stuff. It's actually a, it's made for water bottles, so you can stick them into your water bottle. But it'll work. And I also have a screwdriver set. So the first thing is to get the iPod open. So I finally got this off. It pretty much took, I think, an hour because I didn't understand, like, you guys can see right here, there's clips on the side. It took me forever to take this apart, but I finally got the back cover off. Um, on the back here, I have to be really careful because this gold piece um, is gonna is really likely to fall out, so I have to make sure it stays in. It keeps getting caught on my finger, so I'm trying, trying to keep it in as careful as possible. But now I have to remove the battery, which is right here, I guess, so you guys can see right here. There's no screws or anything, it's just, I think, glue that's holding it. So let's get it out. Been working on this for an hour and a half now. Um, ran into some problems, I'm kind of worried now. Uh, but first thing, um, if this will focus. Do you guys see that hole? There's a screw that's holding in this plate. And the uh, screw um, wouldn't come out, so it almost, it got, um, forgot the word, but it got messed up. So what I did was I bash the um, flat head into the Phillips screw causing I guess a little groove and got it out finally. Uh, another problem was this part, this Wi-Fi antenna is glued on. I've been trying to get it out but the problem is I kinda chipped the side of it now so you guys can see that there's a white chip. So I'm really worried if I mess things up but um, this iPod Touch is getting new glass no matter what I guess. So I'm moving on into moving some screws here and taking out this whole plate because my ending goal is to get to the bottom here, um, blow dry it, remove the glass, and replace it with a new one. So I took the screws off these holes. Sorry about the background noise, guys. They're actually mowing my neighbor's lawn. Um, but this is the motherboard, and I removed it. With the, there was glue here, and it's really awful to get out. So I'm not sure if I broke anything. But here's the headphone port. Here's the USB port, the 30 pin connector, it's attached, glued here. Uh, now I have to remove all 16 of these little screws, you guys can see that. Alright, as, as long as I didn't break anything, I'm really worried about this now because I kind of like mangled a lot of stuff like that Wi-Fi antenna right there. Uh, but this is my first try, so I guess better than nothing. So I removed all 16 screws, and from what I fix it says, uh, I could just pick the whole thing up, the whole screen. So let's see. There we go. And there we have it. That is the actual screen. So I should put this on a cloth. It's not a towel. And here is the actual broken glass. See that? See home button. Here's the actual crack, you guys can see that. I think this is the sensor, the light sensor here. Alright, on to the next step. So the next step is actually pretty funny. Um, I have to remove the glass from the actual bezel. And it uses, um, what's holding it in is actually a heat sensitive glue. 
So what I have to do is heat the glass with a hair blower, a hair, I guess, and um, slowly remove the glass. So let's see how this is going to go. So after I blow dried it, um, it took a while too because I had to pry the glass open. I actually cracked more of the glass. This is what became of it. You guys can see all those glass and this chipped off. And actually some little, I guess, glass particles flew into my eye, but I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Uh, got this off finally. took forever. Got the new glass. Uh, heated up the metal, put it back in. I think it's staying in. Starting to cool down, it came with this cable, of course. So now the step is to put everything back together. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be harder or not. And I'm still also really worried about the uh, Wi-Fi antenna. Don't know what's gonna happen with that. But um, anyway, here's the actual screen where it sends up the data. Uh, battery and motherboard down here. And uh, yeah, so back onto rebuilding it back and hoping and praying to the iPod gods that it will work. Complete and utter fail. Um, I guess I'm going to name that video utter fail, but I got everything apart. I put everything back together. I put the top case back on and everything. Turn it on, it wouldn't turn on. So I looked at the bottom and um, I found out that the motherboard and the, uh, the serial port here, the USB port, was misaligned. You guys can see there's, it's supposed to be right in between the two layers. But it's not, so I started taking everything apart. That took another uh, 20 minutes trying to take it apart. And then I tried lifting this part up, which lifts because it's connected on the bottom here. So you can actually just peel this thing up. We'll actually get the battery out of the way. And peel up this part right here, this motherboard, once you unplug this. But once I got to that part, there was glue attached to the bottom here. And I didn't realize that the glue was really attached to this plastic piece that actually is the... Headphone jack. I didn't see that. But what happened was um, pulling it up and it completely snapped. And that part right here, it's what's connected to this headphone port. Um, yeah. So I'm really irritated right now because I was really, I finished and I had to double check everything. And I guess my carelessness snapped the thing. But, ugh. I'm so annoyed right now. But uh, I guess I'm packing the things up. I called my friend's dad, and he's going to buy a new third-generation iPod with the speaker and stuff, but, ugh, I'm really frustrated, and I feel bad, too, because I broke the guy's iPod, but I guess it, the broken iPod has a nice new screen. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching this whole experience. This is my first time um, ever doing something like this, and um, definitely a great experience, though. I, um, I really appreciate him having the confidence and letting me try this. So I'm going to put everything away in plastic baggies, and um, I guess I'll go back to doing homework. Thanks for watching, guys.